is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today what we've got is the best fitting polo shirts for men in 2019. We've got quite a few different ones to try on, ranging from designer to just ASOS. So let's get into it, let's try all the stuff on. As always guys, don't forget to drop this video a like if you do enjoy it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll link all the products in the description down below. All right guys, so the first polo shirt we've got is actually from Uniqlo really affordable i think it was just 14 pounds 90 on the website size large they've got loads of different colors to choose from as well it's in a nice peak cotton but the fit for me is just literally spot on i've got two of these now i've got it in black as well but the length on the body good i've worn it quite a few times it's shrunk maybe like a little bit hardly anything but it's a really nice polo and for £15, it's an absolute bargain. Probably one of the favourite ones I've actually got and own and probably wear regularly. Really nice. All right guys, so the second polo shirt is from ASOS. You can't go wrong with ASOS. It's got the buttons on the collar, so a little bit different. This is really affordable. I think this was like £12 or something, but I'll put the price on the screen for you just so you know. This is an extra large, so it's a little bit bigger just because the fit is a little bit different. I've actually got a large to try on as well, but in a long fit, just so you can compare the two. This is a normal peak cotton. I really like the color of this one. The fit is probably not as good as Uniqlo, but I do like it, it is really nice. Good length on the body, a really good option if you wanna go for something quite cheap, quite affordable. Third polo is another ASOS design one, but like I said, it's in a size large, just because I thought it'd be interesting to try two out and see which one's better. This is large, tall fit. It is a lot tighter around the upper body and my arms, but I do actually quite like it. The length is really good again. Materials are saying the peak cotton, really affordable. It's got the buttons on the collars, you just see there. If you just want a polo shirt to add into the simple basics of a wardrobe, get one from either Uniqlo or ASOS. Absolute bargain, wear it with a lot of different items and you don't need to spend loads of money on designer if you're on a budget. But before we get on to the next designer polo shirt, I just want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. You know I work with them on a weekly basis guys, it's a men's accessories company. They sell bracelets, what I'm wearing here, they've got necklaces, like this one here, the angel wing, really nice, high quality. Comes in really nice packaging as well. You basically get what you pay for. They've also got watches that have recently just come out. So if you do want to get anything, I've got a link which is 25% off. It's the first one down in the description. Go and check them out. They're just really nice to add to outfits, aren't they, accessories? I know I say it quite a lot, but when you've got like a bracelet or a necklace on, you just, you stand out and it, it catches attention if you want the attention. I just think you look a bit different. Like It's not like you're just fitting in with everybody else. So make sure you go and check them out, guys. Best accessories in the game, in my opinion. First link in the description, 25% off. Go and have a look. Go and check them out. Fourth polo shirt is from Calvin Klein, and this one has got a tipped collar. This is a size large. It cost me £50, this one, from ASOS again. It's got a burgundy Calvin Klein text here. I don't know if you can really see quite minimal, really nice. Peak cotton again. My only complaint with this one is it's a little bit shorter than the ASOS and the Uniqlo. Obviously, because I'm quite tall, six foot two, like I have to bear in mind the length of clothing. If you're under six foot, you don't have this problem, but it is just a little bit short. And I can imagine if I put it in the wash, it might even shrink. I know it's Calvin Klein, but it doesn't matter what brand it is. It's still gonna shrink a little bit. Just a little bit short on the body. But it does fit me really nice around the upper body, on the torso, just a little bit short. I thought I'd throw a couple of designer polos in there just so we can compare to the high street cheap. To be honest, I don't really see a huge difference other than the label. Like the Uniqlo one is probably better quality and fit than this. It's just because it's Calvin Klein, like you pay the price, you know what I mean? All right, the fifth and final one we've got is Tommy Hilfiger. Let's have a look at that one. This is the last polo shirt, guys, from Tommy Hilfiger. Grey, size large, and this one is actually quite slim fitting. So it is the slim fit from Tommy, Tommy Jeans. You can tell it's quite a lot tighter around the upper body. It's quite nice, isn't it? If you work out and go to the gym, this could be one for you. It's really nice. Length is better than Calvin Klein as well, 
but probably not as good as the ASOS tall one. I'll show you. It's got fishtail as well, which is quite nice. One thing I do really like about Tommy Hilfiger is the little logo. It is really nice, really small and minimal, but I don't know what it is. I just like the blue and the red contrast. It's a really nice polo. I think this one was £50 as well. Just depends if you've got the budget for designer stuff or you're not bothered about designer because you can still look good with the cheaper ones like the Unique the ASOS. That is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. In regards to polo shirts, I think that the Uniqlo one is my favourite. I've got a couple of them now and the fit, the feel of them, the quality, it's just for the price, £15, absolute bargain. I'd go for Uniqlo over ASOS, even though the ASOS ones are good, I just feel like the fit was a bit better on Uniqlo. And in terms of designer, I actually prefer the Tommy Hilfiger one. So if you're on more of a budget, go and check out Tommy Hilfiger. As always, I'll link all of them in the description if you do want to get any of the polo shirts. Also guys, don't forget to check out Sulfit Clothing. That'll be linked in the description as well. The Aura Joggers are coming back in stock probably in like two, three weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'll be sending out emails and posting on my Instagram stories. So follow me over on Instagram as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop it a like and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later, guys. Thank you.